What is up guys, welcome to another video. I travel a whole lot for my weddings. I'm a wedding cinematographer if you didn't know already. Before we get into it, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, support the channel. And so what I wanted to do is kind of share with you guys how I pack for these destination weddings. And so the objective is to be very, very effective. You wanna bring the least amount of gear, but you also wanna perform at a high level. And so you also need clothes, you have all these wires and all this stuff. And so I just wanna share with you guys how I do it. And using these two bags, I essentially pack my clothes, I pack all the camera gear and tripod and all that stuff. And so let's get into it. This is a beautiful state of Georgia. I'm in Atlanta filming a wedding. Let's get it. Okay, so the first thing I put up top in this bag, this is the Pelican 1615, is my suit. And so I make sure this gets dry cleaned and then I packed it up into a bag and I'm in here, my tuxedo. Kind of take this out, kind of see. My tuxedo pants, pants and tuxedo, right? Just a black one. So I know this is set. As long as I put this in the bag and I kind of lay it right on top and I pack it in, but it's also in the net. And typically because this is wide enough, it gets me, um, it allows for the tuxedo not to get wrinkled. And I make sure I put it in the net. So I have this bag, this is an amazing bag where I put all my deodorant and all that stuff. You guys don't need to see all that. Um, this aside. And then this is mainly where I put all my clothes. So boxers, pants, and all that stuff. Um, that's easily foldable, that's fine. That doesn't need to be, um, it's fine if it gets wrinkled. My gimbal, I actually put my gimbal in here and I'm terrible I don't use the case because if I put the case in it, it'll take in a whole lot of space. Now, I'm currently using the tripod right now, but take this off. But as you can see, it's pretty much nothing in here. I think once I, sorry, once I take out this bag, which has all the boxers and all the extra clothing and stuff, the box is pretty much empty. Um, I make sure I dismantle, take this apart, which is the Ronin S, right? I make sure I take this apart, put this piece inside this bag. The reason being, I can't just leave this, this in here and I can't put it inside its case because it'd take up a whole lot of space. And so I put this in here and then I have all this space to work with. I have a monopod, monopod head. This is a charger for my light. I have a light stand. So now this light stand isn't the best light stand. The width, the length is really small, but it allows me to be portable and quick. The, again, the goal is to be very effective. Um, when I'm packing, so I make sure I don't bring unnecessary things. If it was if it was actually longer, it wouldn't be able to fit in this bag. And I want to make sure I put everything I need in this bag. Last thing is the tripod, as you can see here. The tripod closes and it goes in there. Um, so that's pretty much it for this bag. Um, that's the heavy duty bag. What I do is with the other half of my monopod, sorry, the other half of my gimbal, put the other half in here. And so I make sure I put this in here because it, it'll take too much space in there, but I could also leave it in there too. Um, I just feel like every time I leave it in there, they rip it up. So I want to start taking better care of carrying this with me. So I checked this bag in, but this right here is my um, carry-on bag. This has my cameras and stuff in it. So this is the Timber Roly Rotor. Uh, I can't remember, I'll put a link. Yeah, sorry, Timber Roly 21. Um, it's a perfect bag, it has houses all my equipment, all my cameras. And I, I'm currently use this, using a two R5s. So I have one right here and I have another R5 that fits in which is the one that's currently on this. Um, have a battery bank. This is for my light. This light is amazing. I bought the extra equipment in there so I could be portable. I don't need wires with this. So I just gotta screw this onto that light stand that's in here. It screws perfectly in there. And, um, and I have my light right here. This is a Practilite 602. It is perfect. It has so much throw. 
and there's an extra wire i'll put a link to where i got this so you have this wire you're plugging in here plug into the battery bank and you have one light set up for the reception and this has so much throw on it it's good enough for a whole reception that's not a whole reception for the dance floor specifically um you could get more but it's just like i said i want to be effective i have some chargers in here it's just to hold this battery bank to that light stand um i have some sennheiser um e3 i believe um i'll post a link to that again to be effective i mainly use this lens is a 28 to 70 f2 lens that's all i use for prep i literally could use this lens all day um and then i have a 7200 this is primarily what i use for the ceremony and i have another lens in here which is currently on here also it's the 16 to 35 millimeter and this is the r5 but what i, I did here is i put a, um, a a grip a battery grip on there um, it's just much better to handle um, versus just having a tiny camera and then putting this gigantic lens on there it just it's tough for my hands so what i did was i put a battery grip on there extends the battery life softer easier on my hands and i could control this much better for prep i mainly use this mono this this camera this lens a 28 to 70 f2 and uh and a monopod which is this monopod right here so that kind of dismantled it just to allow me to have more space because it's tough to fit this monopod in here with this um monopod head um screwed on so i just take it apart push everything to the side put my my big bag which is my duffel bag in here put the the order random stuff bag in there and then i put the um the suit my tuxedo that i wear formally on top of that with a make sure it's inside a bag um in here tamarodi bag there's wires these are the wires for audio i have a zoom h5 on here this is perfect for audio um like i said put my 70 um my other camera in here and then in here i have batteries i have a whole bunch of batteries these are battery chargers in here and then i have some rechargeable batteries these are perfect for and again this zoom h5 can last your whole ceremony and reception with just these two rechargeable batteries so it's perfect i have some extra spaces in here for sd cards in case i need it i typically have two sd cards in here so i have a cf card cf express card in here there you go it's a 128 and i also have one more um regular um, sandisk sd card in here another 128 so i have two of those in here 128 128 and then this camera right here also has uh, two sd cards in there 128 128 so that's typically good enough for a wedding i don't shoot in 4k so that's typically good enough the reason why i love this bag so much is because it allows me to put extra stuff in here so i've tried the other pelicans and it's tough for you to add extra stuff so you have just it's like eyeglasses it's like helps with the screen constantly staring at the screen i have a gondola in here um what else is in here like extra um cf express card reader um battery charger in here and also have a macbook pro laptop in here this is how i primarily edit um my films i like i said as simple as possible i don't have like all these extra extra stuff quick usb-c charger for my for my phone um i bring in so we have to ssd card i also have uh um, let me take this out this is like my nifty 50 of audio this is a tem task cam 40d i think i have to go check it again but this is a perfect audio um replace it because it takes forever to set up the sennheiser um i have to make sure it's in sync i have to make sure the frequency are probably right i could just set this up and go i'm kind of using it right now the audio is amazing um so i'm in a beautiful city of atlanta you can't see it because it's blown out um, there you go it's kind of rainy but it's not as sunny but we'll make it work um thank you so much for watching this video till next time see you later